Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Roy from Pedal Mel. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be opening up another five car set from Hot Wheels from their ever popular car culture series. This is the Japan Historics 2 set and I have them set up left to right. Number one of five is the Datsun Bluebird 510. Number two is the Mazda RX-3. Number three is the Nissan Fairlady Z. Number four is the Nissan Laurel 2000 SGX. And number five of five is a Nissan Skyline C210. So what we're gonna do here is we'll take a look at each one of them. We have the, once again, awesome packaging artwork. So let's do this. Number one. There's the packaging art before I get too excited and tear it open for the Mazda. I love tearing these open. Oops. There's the Z's artwork. Number five. What we'll do here then is put them on a the turntable and get the. We'll examine each one of them up close. Yeah, I'll be right back. Car number one was the Datsun Bluebird 510. As we've seen in the past, this has been a really a quite a top seller for hot wheels this is if you unless you're living under a rock and you don't know this this one here is a very very popular casting as well as the uh, wagon both have sold very very well for for hot wheels and it's understandably it's it's understandable why because it's a very beautiful car and Hot Wheels did a great job on this. So we're going to go ahead here and we'll take a closer look at it. The paint job is just phenomenal on this, this set. The attention to detail, I think um, these were well worth the money. Now if you're not familiar with the car, car culture series, they're once again, they're 100% metal as they used to call it which is the metal base and then you have the metal body and you get the real riders tires with the nicer rims and this one has kind of like a dark red plastic interior almost a burgundy color 
and it does have a it does feature a full roll cage it's just a beautiful car I love the silver on silver stripes that looks really good the paint job is great on this I mean this is a for a Hot Wheels car the it's, this might be one of the the nicer ones I've seen in a while. All right, we'll move on to number two. Car number two is the Nissan Fairlady Z. This once again is also a top seller for Mattel slash Hot Wheels. And it's easy to see why. Wicked looking car. I wasn't sure how I felt about the yellow when I originally saw it online, but now that I have it out of the pack, I think it, it really looks great. This also has the four spoke, ever popular JDM style wheels. Paint job is very nice on it. Tampos appear to be nicely placed. The back end looks great on it, the, the tampos for the tail lights. Kind of wish the exhaust was painted in, but that's okay. We have at least a, a attempt there with the door handles. This has black interior. And a yellow metal base. Very nice. So there you go. That is car number two of the set. This is car number three, the Mazda RX-3. And it is in a bright orange with a black interior. Actually, it's a very dark gray plastic interior. This is the only one of the five that has the uh, four spook, I mean, sorry, the eight spook wheels. All the rest of them have the uh, four spook wheels. Tampos look good on it. Paint's a little thin underneath the spoiler in the back, but that's always kind of like a common Hot Wheels problem. Because the way they spray these is most likely from the top down. Front looks awesome on this. Now the uh, front duckbill chin spoiler is part of the base. So I kind of wish that was painted in black. But that's okay. That could be something. That's, that could be fixed easily. does have a rear roll bar in the back of it. I believe this is the second or third time we've seen this car now. Different different paint schemes. Very nice. All right, we'll move on to the third car. Actually the fourth car. Car number four of the set is a Nissan Laurel 2000 SGX. This is one of the reasons why I bought the main, the whole set is because of this car. This one in the Skyline in particular, the two of them, for whatever reason, I think these are this car and the next one we're going to be reviewing are the two of the most beautiful castings I think Hot Wheels has ever done. As you know, I'm more of a German car fan, but these two are just absolutely uh, beautiful cars. And Hot Wheels just nailed it out of the park, I think, with both of these cars. Look at the front of that. I mean, it's just, it's a stunning, stunning uh, little 
model. It's really is something else. Paint job is great on it. These are right out of the pack. I didn't even buff them out or anything. The tampos for the headlights is just and the, the grill work. This is easily one of the best Hot Wheels I've ever seen. Quite the rubber band tires on it. It's almost, almost non-existent. The rubber is so thin on the tires. This is an olive dark green with black plastic interior. I could do without some of the aftermarket logos on the back but um, this is the way it is we can't have everything the tampos for the taillights look great and the little logos and the parking lamps look great you know them on each corner just a stunner absolutely stunning I don't know. I could stare at that car all day long, honestly. It is just, and it never gets old. Car number five out of five is the Nissan Skyline C210. This is the other one, the main reason why I bought the set. It may not look it on film, I should say video, it looks more blue in this shot, but it is a, a beautiful purple. Once again, features the four spoke wheels and it has a light tan interior the tampos are just great on this this is another one this is the the top of the set in my opinion um the nissan laurel 2000 is right up there with this just beautiful so let's stop and we'll take a closer look here at it Tampos look incredible for a Hot Wheels car on this. The paint job's great right out of the pack. This is the first time I'm holding one of these out of the pack, by the way, so I'm excited to uh, feel one of these, look at one of these. Everything about it, the smell of them, when you take them out of the pack, everything is just, I love that paint smell. That is, I'm gonna have to say easily these two here are my favorite, probably my favorite Hot Wheels cars of all time. I mean, they are just gorgeous cars. But I know we're just doing one at a time, so I should probably get the other off of there. But wow, incredible. All right, so what I'm gonna do is get a shot of all of them together and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and it probably went on a little a little long and a little late to the party i know on the japan historic series uh, i'm still trying to acquire the first set and i know they're they go for a lot of money so hopefully sometime i can get a set maybe even an additional set that i can rip open so you guys let me know what you think of these some of these videos where i open them up and I know I don't do too many of them. But there you go. That's the Japan Historics 2 set from the Car Culture Series from Hot Wheels. And they are amazing if you can find them in the stores. Once again, I had to order mine online because I've never seen them in the stores. Which is unfortunate, but that's just the way it goes. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Alright, bye now.